Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, uh, today probably it's time to come take a look at the euro currency since we have missed this um, update on the weekend, we have dedicated an analysis to the Great British Pound, but right now on the cable the situation mostly stands the same and uh, today we will take a look at, finally at the euro currency. Well, in the first glance on the euro currency it's not really big uh, and impressive action, but still uh, this action stands uh, and, and has uh, at the back it's really big shifts on the high time frame charts. Uh, I just would like to remind you what the conclusion we've got on the recent analysis on the euro currency. We said that mostly overall situation doesn't look really impressive and doesn't look really bullish because in fact market is forming this one channel is nothing more but the bearish flag on the monthly chart. And the uh, second issue is that euro currency could finalize the September action by the creating of the bearish grabber. So if market will close somewhere in this area or even slightly lower, we will we will get we will get the monthly bearish grabber that will suggest the taking out of these lows. And this will be the straight road right to the parity. Because that's just one over four. It's moving lower hardly market will 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 uh, uh, stand against the temptation to reach the parity, especially somewhere in the December uh, Fed finally will rise the rate. That's been said. Uh, although the trend is bullish right now on a weekly chart, this bullishness is really weak, and we said that uh, by later the context is pre poorly bullish, so it's it bullish but it's very weak, but by the price action uh, this bullish context is very fragile and uh, you could try to rely on it only if you will get this uh, strict, um, as you could say it, um, you could trade it only with the strict matching uh, to the rules of the trend trading. So, for example, if you would like to take the long position, you need to wait when the trend on the daily chart will shift bullish and only after that trying to take the long position. So, you have to accomplish rules of the trading uh, very strictly. Otherwise, you could get really mm, not very desirable results. Uh, and uh, the by, uh, by the current price action, what we see right now in the euro currency, it seems that the situation is gradually shifting on the bearish side, uh, particularly because we see some unnatural action for a bullish market. So a market is really bullish, it should not show some kind of action that we see right now. And uh, today we will estimate what particular we see and uh, we will discuss it and uh, we're, we're trying to understand what, what we should do next. First of all, I would like to say that um, daily trend has shifted bearish. That's why for traders who trade on the weekly daily time frames, you can't take the long position right now. You have to wait when the trend will shift bullish again on the daily time frame, and only after that you could try to think about taking the long position, if this will happen at all in the nearest future. For others who trade on the daily intraday time frames, you have the bearish context because trend on the daily time frame chart is bearish. Uh, that's why you could trade the euro currency on the short side of the market. Next, on the daily chart, we are closely watching for harmonic swings, and we said that markets really very carefully follow the shapes of the retracements and action inside the channel. So take a look again, initial A B C D extension right to the opposite border. Again, ABCD extension to the opposite border, retracement down, compounding ABCD, the swings equals to this one, compounding down ABCD. So this swing equals to this one, 
But take a look, recently market has shown minor retracement compared to this one. What does it mean? It means that if market will complete this ABCD down, this will be the breakout out of the channel. That's the tricking, uh, tricking moment here. Uh, and uh, based on the Judd Napoli uh, FIB level framework, this will be unnatural action for uh, bullish market because take a look what's really is going on. Market moves high highs and high lows. So here market has completed ABCD up, shows the normal retracement 50% and starting move to the upside. So the bullish market should continue move higher. But what we see against that, market is returning right back down to the 50%. So here we also have got the same action but market here has accomplished ABCD retracement right at the same level. So it hasn't shown any breakout of this level down. So it has, it has held at the 618 support and continue move high. But here guys market has only one choice. It either should show minor action, minor target, just 618 extension of this ABCD down and hold above the 50%, hold above the lower border of this channel. In this case it will have the chance to continue move higher. Or if market will complete this ABCD, this will be total destruction of the short term bullish setup and will open the road first right to the 108 if market will break through the 110 area. And later, uh, since this will be the breakout on the monthly chart and we will get the grabber on the monthly chart, that will be strict road to the 104 first and I suppose that this will be the halfway to the parity. That's why this current situation is very significant. First destination, guys, in the nearest future, one, two sessions trading will be right here. Was 110, 111. This first, this support. It's really significant support. At the same time, guys, if you'll take a look at the following time frame chart, you'll see another natural action. So first of all, take a look that market wasn't able to complete just few pips to the target. Market wasn't able to pass it, pass them of this AB equals CD pattern, even as you can see this was really fast acceleration right up and even in this condition market wasn't able to continue move higher. And what is more significant, market wasn't able to complete even minor ABC bottom 618 extension. That is what we have expected for on the euro currency before any retracement should start. But market wasn't able to complete even these minor targets. That it's very difficult to call market bullish when you see such sort of action. It's really um, not, it, it doesn't match to the normal bullish market. You probably will agree with me. That's why we see the signs of, uh, bear, of, the, of the bearishness of the market. We see the uh, signs of the growing, for, uh, growing power of the bears. And personally guys, to be honest, I think that it's just my personal opinion is that market has really great chances to break through and hardly market will hold here. I suppose that uh, with this action that we see the some, um, un, uh, in, you could call it not quite natural behavior with these targets and around this top, uh, it's just already the sign that we could get the move to the 108. That's guys my personal view. But we will not be hasty with it. Uh, first target will be based on this A, B, C top D pattern. This minor target will be at particular 11050 area right here. So if you calculate it, you will see it. Uh, that's why we'll be watching for this destination. That will particularly the last chance for the euro to hold here and bounce up. If this will not happen, first wait the action to the 108, second wait the action to the 104, and third, it's very great chances that the market will continue to the parity because temptation will be too significant just to abandon it. When you stand just 300 pips away from the parity, that's a really big temptation for the market makers, for uh, big players to grab the stops and to make the uh, just doom and gloom around the uh, crucial level. Uh, that's our current opinion on the euro currency.